We are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. Nothing is off limits. We see our work, our greatest value to you, as helping you to soothe your resistance and find relief, which means you've shifted your vibrational point of attraction. We adore helping you do that because we can see into your future. And as you sit here in this room and your vibration shifts, your future changes right before our eyes. And we celebrate with you the joyous journey that you are upon. You can't get it wrong. And you can't get it done. And the reason you can't get it wrong is because you can't get it done. No matter where you're standing, if it isn't pleasing you, just remind yourself it's not done. And then take the oh-so-easy, very short time, emotional journey and show yourself how you can put ease in your experience now, right now, now, right now, now, right now. And then watch what happens. All of your power is now. Now. This is your point of attraction. Now. Do you know that here you are and everything is actualizing around you now? So here you are in your now and everything is actualizing around your now. So your future experience that you're going to walk into is actually lining up in response to your vibrational output now. Interesting, isn't it? So as you're ornery and upset or in despair, your future experience is lining up in response to that right now. So you say, but I have good reason. And we say, who cares? <laughs> but I have good reason to feel this way. We say, it doesn't matter. You're still messing up your future experience. But Abraham, I know I'm right. This is the way that it is. I'm only speaking the truth. We say, we know, and your future is going to be full of it. <laughs> your future is going to be full of more of this truth that you're feeling uncomfortable about now. So get the picture of this. So here you are in your now. Your now, which is attracting to you all things. The now, which is your point of attraction. And you're attracting to you now. You're attracting to you tomorrow. You're attracting to you a week from now. You're attracting to you a month from now. If you could see the vortex of things that are lining up for you in response to your now emitting... So, all of your power is now. Think about what you're doing to tomorrow when you feel good now. Think about what you're doing the day after tomorrow while you're feeling good now. Can you imagine the resources that you allow to line up when you take the time to feel good now, when you get in sync with well-being now, you see? All of your power is now. It doesn't matter if you're thinking about the past or the future. Or observing something in your now, you're doing it now. You're emanating now. You're radiating now. You're creating now. Tomorrow never comes. Have you noticed? Because when it gets here, it's today. All of your power is now. So you've just got to decide that you're going to do the best that you can now to feel good and stop making excuses about why you don't feel good now by charting all of the statistics of reasons why you're justified in not feeling good. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You're right. You should feel bad, but feeling bad only makes tomorrow worse. You've got to feel good now. You've got to make up your mind that nothing is more important than how I feel now because now is everything. Now is the whole enchilada. Now is the power of me. Now, 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 now. And if I practice now feeling good, there's a better chance that tomorrow I'm going to feel good too. You might as well start somewhere and it might as well be now. Why not start improving your life now, now, now? But you've got to stop comparing what's happening to you and what's happening to anybody else because you don't know what they've been launching into their experience. You might meet someone who's thriving now and you might feel jealous that they're thriving now and your jealousy about them thriving now will keep you from ever thriving as long as you feel jealous. You've got to feel appreciation. You've got to feel love. You've got to understand that well-being flows to everyone and you might as well start your flow now. So you see someone who's thriving and you're not. Maybe it's with health. Maybe it's with love. Maybe it's with money. They're thriving abundantly and you're not. And your tendency is to criticize them or to find fault with them or to feel inferior to them. All negative emotions, all squelching your well-being and all messing up your future experience. So instead, you stop and you say, I don't like the fact that he's doing better than I am doing. Squelching. His father probably bought that for him squelching he probably knows people in power squelching 
somehow he's managed to get in vibrational alignment with what he wants. Alignment. In other words, when you compare your resources now with someone else's, the only comparison that you could possibly be making is how in alignment they are with what they want and how in alignment you are with what you want. And that's the only justifiable equation that makes sense. So here I am now where all of my power is. And I'm doing the best I can to feel the best I can right now. So I'm making the best use of now that I can. Why? To affect future experience? It will. But why really? Why do I want to affect future experience anyway? Because I think I will feel better in the future. So if I find something that feels better now, oh, that's a double bonus, isn't it? Because not only have I positively affected my future experience, but I feel good now. And everything that anybody wants, whether it's a material object or a relationship or a pile of money, everything that everybody wants is because they believe in the having of it, they will feel better now. So when you show yourself the power to align with good feelings now, You've shown yourself the power of aligning with source now. You've shown yourself the power of thriving now. You've shown yourself the power of aligning with all of the resources of the universe now. You've shown yourself the power of positively affecting tomorrow and beyond now. And you feel good now. We think it's worth going after. And if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would announce to anyone around us, I've decided that I'm going to feel good now. And I love you dearly, but I'm not going to pay too much attention to the things that you say that don't make me feel good. So if you find me ignoring you, it's not because I don't love you. It's because you're saying things that don't make me feel good. If you find me not wanting to go to those movies that don't make me feel good, it isn't that I don't want to spend time with you. It's that I care more about feeling good than anything else. Because I found out just recently that my feeling good now isn't just about now. It's about everything. That right now I'm launching my whole entire future experience, everything that I believe in, everything that I am, depends upon how I feel right now. So excuse me if I do not join you in your criticism of this or that or the other. I'd rather look for something to praise. And in time, you will activate that within you so much that that will be the natural trend. Right now, we know it's sort of hard sometimes. People say to us, Abraham feels like my thoughts are thinking me. And we say, they're not. You're thinking them. But once you get one pretty well activated, it's going to show up. So you've got to activate something else. So this is one last thing we want to say before we move into some serious discussion. <laughs> it does not matter what is. Because what is is a continuing, evolving thing. As you give your attention to what is objectively, then everything that is just keeps showing up everywhere you go. If you give your attention to what is discriminately, by picking out the parts of it that you like best, then everywhere you go, the parts of it you like best dominate your experience. So what did you think about all of that? You know it, don't you? In other words, there isn't anything that we said that you don't innately know.